know, I arrived here um, directly almost from the UK to almost like a building site when the Saham was just being reached in its final phase. And uh, the Saham itself was, was almost a desert. Um, so, you know, faced with that, you know, how, how, do you, how do you design something for such an enormous space? It was, it was quite a, a challenge, but a very exciting challenge. Oh, it's been transformational, really, because uh, I've, I would never have imagined that I would be able to work on this scale. And the, uh, the colors and the, um, the, the material is, it, it was, although I'd worked in, on, on architectural design before, um, this is something quite different. And uh, also to, to think that it's going to be here for many centuries to come, inshallah. So, you know, I'm from, from England. Um, they have lots of probably misconceptions about uh, Islam and, and mosques. So um, I've explained to them that this was very much an international project. It didn't really matter that I was um, from the UK and not, not of Islam. Um, and the other questions that they would often ask would be, why are the designs not Islamic geometrics? And that's a lot to do with the fact that uh, Sheikh Sultan wanted to have a more of a Western style, free-flowing design.